Hey guys, it's time for the reviews for the chopping block number 16. And so we're at number 16 now, and these are the reviews. If you're unfamiliar, I will link the haul below. That's where I swatch the products and everything from the chopping block. Let me warn you first off, I am sick. My husband was sick for several days, and now I'm feeling really congested and everything. So I'm hoping my voice doesn't bother you too bad. If it does, definitely just click out of the video. Um, I just don't like to get too far behind. And I, you know, I hate not doing a video in a whole week, so I really wanted to do this. I hope you'll bear with me. Um, I'm going to review the products from the Chopping Block 16 for you, and a lot of them I'm really excited about, and there are others I'm not, but that's always really fun too. By the way, I am medicated. This happens every year. I get a cold, I am medicated, and I do a video, and honestly, these are my favorite ones. <laughs> You never know what I'm going to say when I'm hopped up on NyQuil, so um, I took the daytime version, not the nighttime. I don't want to fall asleep on you. All right, so first up, this is a product uh, that a lot of people were interested in, and I have really good results about, you know, to tell you about regarding this. Um, this is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. This, see, I told you this would be fun. I'm dropping things. All right. This is the Miracle Gel. The color that I got is called Red Eye. It's a beautiful red, and this is the top coat. I couldn't believe this because, okay, the commercials, the ads for this say 14 days, and I was like, yeah, right. Okay, how can it last 14 days? It's going to look like crap. Let me just tell you. See, I'm saying, I'm cussing. All right, so anywho, uh, I wore this for 14 days, and I will link the post below on my blog so you can take a look at my nails after 14 days. It was really hard to wear a polish for 14 days, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I've done that before. Not great, uh, you know, just because I like to change my polish a lot. Uh, so anyway, I put one coat of red eye on and then one of the, a coat of the uh, top coat, the Miracle Gel top coat. I got to tell you, the standout here was the top coat. Usually with systems... <gasps> Okay, my whole camera fell. Uh, usually with systems like this, the... Uh, <laughs> usually with systems like this, uh, the top coat is not a favorite of mine. I usually hate the top coat. Uh, I just slapped the camera back on the tripod, so hopefully it's okay. Uh, but anyway, usually the top coat is a big fail for me. It doesn't dry fast. It's not great looking. This top coat is really, really good. It dried super fast. It's like a top coat I would buy just because it's a great top coat. So I can't wait to use it with other polishes. Um, I think it'll do well with those. I really, really did like this top coat. I like a fast drying top coat. Now around day 11, um, I lost some glossiness to my nails, which I think is to be fair, you know, one of those things that's just going to happen anyway. Uh, but one of the things that I think you should take a look at the pictures that I thought was kind of amazing is, is I took all my braids out while my nails were painted. And that's a lot of, you know, finger work, you know, and synthetic hair, you know, with braids. They still looked really decent. So take a look at that post. I was impressed with these and I would buy another color, another several colors. The e.l.f. blush palette was fantastic. Um, I really like this. I got the uh, dark. There's a light and a dark, I believe. I got the dark. Really, really great blush colors. Pigmentation is excellent. I'm wearing the deepest shade. I wore that the most, I think, I guess, for fall. I'm wearing the deepest shade today. Loved these colors. I even liked the glittery one. This has like some goldish glitter in it, and it was actually really pretty. I was a little afraid of how that would turn out, but it was really, really nice, and I loved mixing colors as well. So for the price, I think this was around eight bucks. This is a fantastic little blush palette to get your hands on. All right, we're going to talk concealer. This is the Laura Mercier um, High Coverage Concealer. I got it in number six. Let me tell you, this is a very thick, it's uh, actually it says high coverage concealer for under eye, just to be specific, and I did use it on my under eye area. Um, this is a very thick concealer. If you like uh, Max, I, I'm a huge fan of Max um, Pro Longwear. If you like concealers like that under your eye, um, something very thin but good coverage, I don't know if you're gonna like this. This is a very, very thick concealer. It works great. I will definitely be using it. I love the, the color correctiveness of it under my eye. I just needed one product to do everything, whereas with the Pro Longwear, I use a brightening product that I talked to you about recently um, from Bare Minerals. I love the coverage. I don't have, I have a darkness problem in my under eye area, not necessarily 
a um, creasing problem. So I didn't even need to set this. I wore this without setting it and it was fine, but that's not my issue, it's darkness. So if you do have an issue with creasing, you might need to set this. Um, I wore it both ways and it was fine. I was really impressed at the fact that I didn't have to set it because that's like, you know, one step that I don't have to do. So definitely a good concealer. It just took me like two days to get used to it because it is a thick, thick formula, but you don't need a lot. So once you get used to it, it's cool. But if you do prefer a thinner formula, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to like that. This is not my favorite Dior mascara. This is D Dior Addict It Lash. Um, I usually am crazy about Dior mascaras. This is not my favorite one. I need more volume from it uh, to be happy. This just did not have enough volume for me. The brush is really great. It does grab your lashes at the base of your lashes, so that's really good. You get the color all the way down to the base, which is good. You know, some, uh, some ma mascara wands are so, like, thick and big and everything like that. You really can't get in right, uh, you know, where your lashes start, so it's good for that. Great brush. The little tip at the end is or the area at the end is really good for getting those inner corner lashes uh, but I just didn't like the volume for it so I wouldn't buy it again because there are a lot of Dior mascaras that I love a lot more than that one uh, I didn't like this let me just tell you this is the benefits their real push-up liner I am NOT a fan of this this is just not the product for me I know there are people that are gonna like it people that do winged eye looks and things like that I just found it to be very problematic for what I like to do and, and that is definitely just to be putting you know a simple line on my um, top you know lid line. Um, one of the things that was most uh, disturbing to me that happened with this and why I wouldn't buy it again is because I would use it and the product would flake off and I'd get little black flakes and sometimes they got in my eyes. That is a no-go for me. I have sensitive eyes, I have contacts in my eyes and uh, one day I had to take a contact out. Oh my gosh. So I just for me, not the greatest product. I know a lot of people like it. A lot of you out there are going to like it. I, it's just not great for me. I did not like using this. So those are just my thoughts on that. Sorry. Um, the Blink Black Lash Primer was fantastic. This is the color Jet Black. This is one of the best primers I've used. I really, really liked it. My favorite before this was uh, Tarte, and I would say this is right in there with that. But let me just tell you, I really like, can you see that brush shape? I really like this, because they're, they're little, oh, because they're focusing, okay. It's all the way around, or no, on two sides. So you can go like this and like that. It's really, really neat. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's really, really neat, and you get a lot of coverage with it. And I like this plain without mascara. That's how good it was. It looked great and volumized. My lids looked, uh, my, you know, my lashes looked volumized just with this. So I really liked it. I use it with a lot of other mascaras. Um, I use it alone with other mascaras as well as with the Dior. It really helped pump the Dior up and give it the volume I like. Um, but I really like this. I would definitely buy this. Now this, I was super dazzled by this. Um, super dazzled. <laughs> I get really lame when I'm sick. Um, this is Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Shadow in the shade Radiant Sand. One of the biggest things I want to point out, hey Max, hey Max, uh, one of the biggest things I want to point out is when I looked at the haul video, I noticed that I kind of just slapped this on my skin and it looked super light and I was kind of worried about it. But let me tell you, you put this on your lids, Again, it's Radiant Sand. You put this on your lids, and I just went like this on my lids, and I got to tell you, it looked amazing. This is so cool. I don't need primer. I don't need eye primer when I use this. I put this on my eyes. Again, no primer. Put powder shadow. I use cream shadow. Fantastic. I want so many more of these. These were fantastic. I have a bunch of them in my Sephora cart for when they have a sale. Um, again, I was so wary of this, thought I didn't need it, thought it wouldn't be great. It's fantastic. I want like three more. Um, so a really, really good product. And I love that you don't need a primer once you put that on. So that makes it like the starting point for a lot of eye looks for me. Okay, this is the new NARS lipstick, the Audacious lipstick. And I got the shade Fanny. A really, really pretty color. I did the swatches before, but I'll do one again. Really, really nice lipstick. Now, this is the problem though. $32 a tube. Um, I loved it. It's fantastically pigmented. This is one of the best pigmented kind of, you know, 
immediate pigmentation as soon as you slap it on, which is great because your work is, it's really, really quick to, you know, draw on your lips and you're done. Uh, $32 a tube though. Wow. I have one other color I like and that's going to limit me um, because I would probably get a lot more if it was at a lower price point. When I think of the fact that I could go to CVS right now and get 10 Wet n Wild Mega, <laughs> Mega Last lip Lipsticks and still spend the same price as one of these. I think they're like $2 now. I just got the, uh, I have a big haul to show you, I just got the um, Halloween ones. I think they were $2. And you know, when you can get like 10, I mean, it's crazy that, you know, this is $32. It's a fantastic lipstick. I will just say, get a color you really love and you will wear out and you will use a lot. That's all I would recommend because $32 a pop or, you know, get them on sale. Um, you know, wherever you can find them on sale, um, you know, with Sephora when they have their sale. That's when I'm going to get another one. Sephora when they have their VIB sale, I'll get the other color that I want. But Fanny was really, really good and I liked it. All right, another lipstick I really like that is a price point I love is the Essence Lipstick in Dare to Wear that I showed you. And this is uh, the brand, or the brand is Essence and it's Long Lasting Lipstick. And I got it at Ulta. Very, very good price point. Excellent lipstick. I got the color Dare to Wear. I'll show you a swatch. It's red. I showed you that last time. I'll show you again. It's right there on top. Fantastic lipstick. I would buy more of these. These are really, really great. Comfortable to wear. Love, love the price point. So if you find a color that you like, get it. Essence lipstick. Uh, long lasting lipstick. Yeah. All right. Elf. Elf has this uh, smudge pot. And I got three, and I'm really glad I got three because I loved using this one that I tested out. The one that I got is called Brownie Points, and it's a gorgeous color. One of the things I tried with it, it's a great base for eye looks. One of the things I tried it with, with it is I tried to use it without primer. And I'll tell you what happened. I didn't have any creasing. I, have, I don't have oily lids. I didn't have any creasing until about the uh, seven hour mark. I thought that was pretty good. Uh, usually things crease on me faster than that when I try them without uh, primer, eye primer. So that's a beautiful color. I loved using it. Great, great on the eyes. I'm so glad I got two more. There's my congestion, sorry. <laughs> All right, last product. You're doing pretty good. I'm so glad you guys stuck with me. Thank you so much for your patience. Last product, Laura Mercier's Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid Foundation. I really, really like this. If you saw the haul, you saw my only issue. My only issue is how this ends up coming out all around the sides when you use it. You definitely have to shake this up very well. They have that on here, shake well to activate. Definitely do that. I didn't like the results when I didn't. I really like this foundation. I have combination skin and I noticed that it was really, really nice to, for me. Um, I didn't have to use, it is cooler now, but I didn't have to use a mattifying primer. At first I started using it, I did, but as I started, you know, continued using it, in the weather again, it isn't like August anymore, super, super hot where I live, but uh, I was fine without primer a mattifying primer. And the other thing that was so great about this is the finish is fantastic. It has a finish on it, this foundation. Um, I have it in the shade Pecan. It has a finish on it that I don't even have to set it with powder. Like some foundations you have to set them with powder to make it look, you know, nice. This has the most beautiful freaking finish on it. I love the finish of this foundation. Really, really glad I tried it. I would say it's definitely a medium, um, medium coverage foundation. So if you need something that's going to cover up a lot more, um, you can build this up, but because of the very watery consistency, I don't know that you're going to want to. With foundation, I always try to determine the best way to apply it, at least for me, where I like it, the, you know, the, the best conditions I like it. And I like this with a beauty blender, and I liked it uh, with a brush. The only thing with a brush is because it's so liquidy, you do waste a lot of product. Uh, so I would probably, from here on out, use a beauty blender or my fingers with it. But again, that liquidy tends to uh, consistency. I don't really like doing that with my fingers. So <sighs> beauty blender or fingers from here on out. I just, at this price point, it's so high. Um, 
foundation wise it's not a drugstore price foundation i wouldn't want to use it with a brush because it that brush is going to suck up so much product so those are just my recommendations for using that but i definitely think it's something a lot of people are going to like to try it's a great foundation guys thank you for your patience oh my throat is killing me thank you for your patience i really wanted to just say hey give you these reviews and uh, i really like talking to you and i appreciate you for joining me so i will talk with you very soon hopefully i'm going to try to you know push through and see if i can get some more videos done this week. Uh, hopefully I will, um, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. Max says bye. <laughs>